you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Hey, what's going on everyone? Kenan here, hanging out by the Turtle Pond. Today's question comes from Forrest Stowe, who happens to be one of our Patreon supporters. Don't forget to go on over to patreon.com slash Camp Kenan if you want a question answered on the channel. We appreciate all your support. This is a way of saying thanks to you. So, here's what we're going to do today. We are going to be looking for the uh, turtle in question. So, Forrest, Forrest, uh, over here, um, basically is asking the question of, hey man, how, uh, how can one tell the difference between a male and female African mud turtle? Uh, he's having difficulty because unfortunately they don't behave the same way that, uh, or they don't have the same characteristics as our North American uh, aquatic species. So what happens is uh, you have to look for other things. And uh, he says his is five inches, and I'll be honest with you, that's going to be very difficult to sex. So here we are. Let's look at let's look at these turtles right here. Uh, these are some cooters, and if you look at the front nails, uh, they're short. Now we know that that means it's a female. Okay, and they also have short little tails. Now the males are going to be much smaller and they're also going to have a larger uh, tail. Now with African mud turtles, and I'm trying to find one here because I do have a few of them actually in this pond and here it comes right now. So what I'm going to do is get some food over here and I'm going to reach in and just grab this sucker and we're going to get rid of that guy. He's a pain in the neck coming over here, that good old alligator. We're trying to, uh, you know, it's a pain in the neck. Anyway, uh, where he scared my turtle away, which is a shame because I was so close to answering your question, Forrest. Well, Forrest, uh, I will get another uh, question for you. There's the turtle again. I'm going to do a turtley maneuver right now. We're going to uh, carefully, quickly grab the turtle. All right, we got her. Here we go. So what you're looking at is the serrated mud turtle, which is very similar to the helmeted mud turtle or the castaneous, uh, the, the other East African muds. Now, I am not sure what your turtle East African mud, I don't forget, I need the Latin name, uh, but if it is, <laughs> it's peeing, if it is this, the, from the genus that has the hinge, which this one does, uh, it's gonna have a movable plastron. Uh, but anyhow, let's look at this gal. You'll notice the claws aren't gonna do much good, okay? Uh, they are short because the males also have short claws here, but the males, when they get bigger, are going to have a noticeably larger tail than this. Okay, uh, let's see. Are you guys able to see that right there? It looks pretty good. Let's turn around here. Maybe it'd be a little bit better if it's in the sun. So we're going to turn right around and you can't really see, but it's a tiny little tail. It's just a cute little tail. Uh, the males will have a larger tail, but dude, yours is only five inches long. It's going to be so difficult for you to properly sex it until it gets a little bit bigger. Now this lady right here, she's been in the pond for many, many years. You've seen her before in older videos. Really love this turtle. She's funny. She gets a uh, pretty personable, although I scared her. You know, she also has those cute little barbs at the bottom of her chin. And that's similar to our um, North American snapping turtles. They'll use those as kind of feelers to look for prey that may be in the uh, mud where these guys spend a lot of time. They'll also spend a lot of time estivating in the dry season where they burrow down into the mud and then they get kind of, uh, well, they entomb themselves and wait until the rain comes again in order for them to wake up. But this is a gal for sure. They will certainly get bigger than the males so you may have a, a, a size difference uh, and that will aid in sexual dimorphism. So there you go, Forrest. I like Forrest because I sound a lot like Tom Hanks. So many of you say that I sound like Tom Hanks when I laugh. And some of you even say that I look like him. Something bit me and it was not a turtle. Okay, anyway. That's pretty um, good. Thank you. Thank you. Forrest, I love your name, brother. Anyway, man, we are uh, getting out of here. I'm going to put this tortle, a turtle. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. And I'm putting it back down. It is blazing hot right now, and I'm in workout gear. <laughs> Not a smart guy. On your mark, get set. Hold Oops, said a bad word. We're going to have to beep that out. Hope I answered your question. Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Camp Kennan. I have uh, removed the filming duties from my girlfriend who does not want to be on the camera. She gave me the yes. I love her so much. I always want to see her. Anyway, guys, go to patreon.com slash camp if you'd like to help us uh, with these uh, videos. And you can also go hit like and subscribe on this particular video. Thanks so much. Going to finish feeding the turtles. I hope I answered your question. And I'll see you all again real soon.